This month, the principalities and powers are shouting their abominations from media, government buildings, and even food containers. Like Tokyo Rose, who spread Japanese propaganda to U.S. troops in World War II, the adversary is in full propaganda mode, tempting God's people to discouragement and unbelief. If he can lure us to doubt, discouragement, or even to flailing with empty gestures, it's working. His, his, his attempts are working. Our response should be neither frenzied nor lethargic, but purposeful and filled with faith. So here are a few things we can do in response. First of all, minimize the threats into our home. If the serpent's voice is getting in, make sure that you actually shut the doors and windows. Whether it's through Disney, Google, or Walmart, do what it takes to minimize the threat. Pay attention to what your children listen to, watch, and read. I'm not saying go live in a concrete bunker like it's 1921, but make sure you don't leave the door standing open with a sign that says, come in any way you would like. Second, maintain joy. Our enemy has no answer for deep, abiding joy. He only has counterfeits. Do what it takes to make your home a joyful and life-giving place. Third, talk to your children about your household loyalties to God, His Word, and His people. Last, pray and look with eyes of faith. When Elisha and his servant were surrounded by the Syrian armies, just as they were surrounded, it looks like our enemies today have stronger forces. When his servant was tempted to unbelief, Elisha prayed for God to open his eyes. It is no less true for us because when, we open, when he actually saw through the eyes that Elisha had, Yahweh's host of heaven were surrounding them. It's no less true for us. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is and always will be our refuge. It doesn't matter what forces the enemy appears to have massed right now. It's a ploy. It's an attempt to make you doubt. I'm not saying his forces are not strong. They are. But greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. So in the midst of the enemy's attacks, continue in faith and encourage your spouse and your children in faith. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain.